guys and welcome to Petrol Ped and welcome to this week's Midweek 180. I am in the same venue as last week only this evening it's not quite as nice weather outside so I'm in the new extension but happy to report that later on this week we will be firing up that pizza oven and tasting the freshly made pizza which I'm very much looking forward to. But if you've not seen one of these before this is my Midweek update where I bring you my news views and information about upcoming reviews, all filmed in one take. I'm going to put 180 seconds in the bottom left hand corner of your screen and that's it, a very simple format. So without further ado, let's get cracking with this week's Midweek 180. I shall start my timer. Okay, first comment and leader of the pack from last week was the Speed Machine 35 and finally I got to meet him at members meeting at the weekend. He looks like this, so brilliant to finally meet you. Um, but joining you in the famous five are Noisy Man X, Mr. DRM, Fish Ate the Cat and VXR Bandit. So whoever puts the first comment this week, you will be my leader of the pack next week. And in the first five comments, you will be in my famous five. Uh, where are you and what you're doing? Well, that was Henry Hole 8538, who was at Cobham Services, basically drooling over the Alpha GTV in his Alpha GT. <laughs> but wherever you are right now, and whatever you're doing, put it in the comments below, and I will give you a shout out next week. Now, last week's question was basically, I wanted to gauge your reaction to the speed limiters being fitted to European cars after 2022. And it's safe to say you're not fans, although we all agreed, I think, that driving safely within the limits is a good idea. Um, this week's question, I basically want to know if there was one modification you could do to your car, what would it be? Now that is spurred on by the fact that in just two weeks time, I'm going to be taking Ruby Roadster to the guys at Lowen to do some fairly special modifications. And then from there, it will go to the B Road Hunting Club for a whole bunch of other modifications, including new wheels and tires. So what would your one mod be? I'd just really like to know. Um, now, new car news has to be more information about the GP3. I'm getting super excited because the register of interest officially opened last week and we learned a little bit more. I am on the register of interest, but there will only be 500 cars coming to the UK of the total 300 being built. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna be getting one of those. Um, I've also talked to Mini. We're arranging to go up and see the cars being built and doing a factory visit. And then these images broke cover just this week from Autoblog of uh, the GP3 under the coolest camo, um, but testing at the Nürburgring. I'd love to know what you think. Uh, it's got a mixed reaction. I personally love it. I love the big wing on the back and I love the kind of wider wheel arches because it's as close to the original concept as it can be. I would, I'd like a bigger diffuser on the back, but you know, We'll see, it's not finished yet. Um, and other information we're starting to hear, it should have apparently 335 BHP and weigh only 1100 kilos. And it's gonna be front wheel drive, so it's gonna be a proper beast. Um, Enduro car was last weekend. Um, we came 13th out of 24. There will be a film coming shortly. I wanted to say a huge thank you to Lydia Gold and the Zanzi Barbarian for making the effort to come and cheer us on. It was brilliant seeing you there at the weekend, guys. So thank you very much for that. And then this weekend is Formula One from Shanghai in China. Uh, I just can't wait. I think it's gonna be a really great race. It will be interesting to see if McLaren can, can carry on, you know, um, being as successful as they are, and maybe Charles Leclerc getting that maiden victory would be great to see. And then this Friday, at six o'clock is a collaboration video with Mr. Joe Achilles. I've been trying to get a collaboration with Joe for ages, and we basically take the 720S McLaren Spider out. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, and basically, have a bit of a drive around the Goodwood area. It's a bit of a fun video, not too much serious motoring journalism done, but we ask the question, is it too fast? <laughs> You'll have to join us on Friday at six to find out what we think. But that, my dear peddlers, is that. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have done so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome, and if you haven't done so already, Please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. Make sure you check out the video I put up on Monday, which was me driving three hot laps in one take in the Honda NSX with a very cool passenger. Um, you'll have to tune in to see that one. Um, and also I will see you on Friday at six for me and Joe Achilles asking, is the McLaren 7020S Spider too fast? I'll see you on that one guys, but you take care, drive safe.